Hello. Hope everyone is doing okay today. It's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. We are moments away from what should be an excellent matchup between the Minnesota Vikings and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few moments ago, the emotional leader of the Chiefs defense, Eric Berry, making his way out of the tunnel. He and his mates will get set to do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. Happy to be with you. And, CD, as we get this thing going, give the folks at home something to keep their eye on. The running game for both teams, because I think this is going to be an old-fashioned, old-school type of a game. Physical. Who wins up front? Who runs the ball the best and controls the clock? They will come out the victor. Here's Kai Forbath now to get us started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Here's the dangerous Tyreek Hill. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So here come the Chiefs for their opening drive. Leading this unit will be the big arm man out of Texas Tech. Tenth pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. And what qualities really attracted Kansas City to move up to get Patrick Mahomes? We know it's the big arm. He got that from his dad, a former major league pitcher. But also has the moxie and the ability to move outside of the pocket and make any throw you want across body, all the way downfield, the short stuff. This guy's got it all. here on first down. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Victor. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Uh, much on the field. There at 22. So the I'll be moving on to a different game now. Find the holes where guys are available. I'm not sure what I want to play. Put the ball on the receiver. I've had a few games in the finish. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Yeah, if you um if you uh, like my football streams, um, <clears throat> I stream uh, football Monday, uh, Thursday, and Sunday. So eight. one play, and they're already so just shy of midfield. If you wanna follow the, the channel and come in and do we can. If you want to. On first down, Mahomes. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. And the big boys up front in the trenches, what do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Room to run inside the 40. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And finally taken down at the 34. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. The and then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him. Because uh, he's running routes with confidence the as the game out, goes on. Uh, that I want to sell on the moment. From the 34 uh, now, here's first and 10. I'm making changes to the website. 
this uh, foul. No more to start. Um, gonna hand it off to Hunt. Finding room for the turn. And finally taken down at the 15. Hardest on the Another big hitter so there. This one good for 18. Yeah, annual subscription. Quite the opening drive march there right now. It looks a lot so like what we saw prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because annual last subscription is a little bit more expensive. You go through your offensive script, you go through your play call, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks well. like it's going like clockwork right now for just them. Just get rid of the online, you know, website. Websites to send more on. Them. So I've been making the first trip to the red zone for KC. On them. They've got a first and ten at the 15. So I'm um, still selling online and selling uh, through social media. Operating from the red zone now. So I'm selling. Uh, 11 by 14. And a good points. turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Kelsey, the intended receiver so there. Like not how they envision ending their drive here in the first quarter. Um, Too many ones in this play. To this first quarter, first drive, first interception and throw. And the last one better. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. Two yards on the pick up there. It's I saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the plug turns into something big. Here's Ryan Quigley now. As his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. It's fielded at the 45. Yeah, a 10-yard return Thank following you. a punt of 45. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. And out come the Chiefs now. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. This is Hunt, and he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And that's right here early on, it doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early, because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here we go. Blue 45. Blue. 
Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And it's incomplete. Not that time for Watkins. And it's third and short. Quickly now a look at the defensive starters for Minnesota. Harrison Smith's play has been so good in the NFL that he demands the respect of everyone. And I remember a couple years ago when we talked about the top safeties, his name didn't come up in the first group. It does now. I remember doing a game a couple of years ago right. with the Rams were trying a lot of razzle dazzle stuff. And Mike Zimmer, the head coach, pretty much said, sick him to Harrison Smith. And he ended that in a hurry. He can play close to the line of scrimmage, can also cover deep. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll run with the backup. This is Williams. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. Well, Parker, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious if they didn't get it there. Would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So, I hope I don't mess up the video or say the wrong thing, but... So, they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. Because of... My words get mixed up when I start getting nervous. They stick to the ground like, game on first down. If you hear my words get mixed up, that's why. I'm just not used to talking. I know I'm normally a quiet person. Next to receivers, they'll spread yeah. the defense out. They were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Super tired. I get, man, I was. Uh, I wasn't going to play. I wasn't going to stream today. And this is going to be intercepted. Just because I was so Sydney tired. I was staying up late. And a short return Working, to the you know, not staying up late. I was streaming. So that's back to back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And a full time artist. That's my everyday life right there. That's why I talk, That's why I talk about a lot in my streams. Now, now come the Vikings. That's what all I've been doing. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, on. right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Well, yeah, if you want to follow the channel, I appreciate it. And I'm trying to throw a communion on here. Following the intercept. 
interception. Cousins, 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 Cousins,
you can make some. We haven't seen much from them running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of them at all so far. They've stacked them up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you got to play the long game. Keep handing it to them, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Throwing. Cousins. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages... When they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. First red zone chance now for the Vikings. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And now running right through him. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flag. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty I mean, easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Cousins. And he's going to score. It's a Viking touchdown. Kirk Cousins punching it in from a yard away. And the Vikings are able to strike for six. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Forbath on for the extra point. Forbath able to convert the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. A drive there of just four plays, and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. Forbath out to kick this one away. And to return it. Across the 25 and down at the 20. Out comes Patrick Mahomes in the Chiefs offense. He's likely still kicking himself from the interception last drive that wound up leading to a go-ahead score. And he's going to assume all that came with that one, all right? That's all on him, but he also knows he's got to erase it from his mind and get back out there. This drive, very important. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Play action, it's Mahomes. Kelsey imposing his will, and he will find his man on the outside. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. midfield inside the 45 that one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first one quarter down seven to two is our score and we're back to Arrowhead after this back now with Charles Davis I'm Brandon Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter and they've got it here with a first down This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Four down, four down. Check. Here we go. Here's Hunt. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. stopped before he could even get started. It'll go as a loss of a yard and it'll set up third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Here we go now. Green 90. Green 90. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. It's a couple of we here. haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. Second quarter, a guy like him, no catches, so that's the surprising part. But they're winning, so maybe they've been able to do some other things effectively, I guess. And they found other ways, haven't they? Because the receivers will tell you, offense needs to run through us, but they're managing to get it done in this ball game without having to actually do that. I wouldn't expect him to stay silent for the rest of the game. Though. Yeah, yeah you got to think that his first catch is coming at some point. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, usually you don't think of the quarterback coming in for a no-gain play, but that's what we had there. Nice tackle. Yeah, and how about the range, too? Coming from the outside part of the play, moving his way into the inside and making that play happen. No gain for the offense. 
Big play for the defense. Back to the ground. This time, Cook. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. On third down, Cousins. And he's able to find Diggs. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. First grab so far for Diggs. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Second down, Cousins. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Cousins to his tight end, Rudolph, for a Viking first down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Hand off comes to Cook. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Play action now. Cousins is going to let this <coughs> one go deep. <coughs> and it's going to wind up incomplete. <coughs> However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. As soon as I Holding see that offense. you followed or as soon as I see that guy move forward, so that one I'll be sure to call you guard. back. And you understand why offensive you know, and defensive I'm all about supporting each other, you know. Work on their hands so it took me a while to get to do it. it. Break difference on a play. So this I know how it feels to struggle. In order to make the on play happen, got caught for the penalty. They'll come up now on a second and yeah. long after the hold. I'll be sure to call you back. I don't know if I'll be able to come in your streams as often because I do stream every day. Following the penalty. So it might be kind of hard, but if I'm able to, I'll drop in. Yards and, on the pick up, and it'll be third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fit and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. I haven't been. <coughs> I, haven't, I don't know. I don't know what my boss is doing there. The Vikings on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. I haven't made it through that long. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I got my first paycheck. Here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield. He's standing in the pocket. 
will take over here first and ten now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here the crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts yeah. they want some big My, plays they want to see some My offense they want to see somebody break away whether it's through the air or on the ground more than now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides each head coach can you hang in there and not try and force something that can put your team in some jeopardy cousins and the vikings will a first and ten at their own 23. cousins now to throw on first down Finding a safety valve but, here. That's complete. I'm not that kind of Christian. Go at the people like. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll make it a second you know, down. Everyone's got to be able to catch I the football. Doesn't matter what you position know, you, you play. Still come you can still come to chat. You can still follow me. 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 That wouldn't be very Christian. I mean, anyway, you know, I did that, you know, so, you know, if you respect me, I respect you. So, second and eight here after the pass okay. play for two yards on first down. But I won't be criticized for being Christian either, you know. Again, this is Cook. And he'll wind up with about six. Because, so like I told to somebody on Facebook. <laughs> <clears throat> I didn't go into God, and it was criticizing and there was me for the doing a rundown because and sometimes you get I out of your gaps, you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a band. I have a right the Vikings on God, third down. Like they They've hit right two for four thus them. far. This Please time them. they face a third and two. So, yeah, that's how I feel about that. You know. They'll run it. Here's Cook. 
No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run mm. defense. My play from Jesus, my motion was in the books that got me to this point of where I'm able there. to talk on the mic and show myself on camera occasionally. I grew up very insecure about myself. And, uh, I was Ryan Quigley now. I was born as he's on to front from Minnesota. He steps into this one, and you know, this is being a overweight, rocket. I'm, you know, a little bigger. Not big, but, you know. And he didn't quite have the bag spin on that one. It hits at the four you know, and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So I've always made fun of Here's the Kansas and, uh, City offense now as they get set to take over. I always made fun of a little bit of a lull here. Jokes. A little bit of a snag. Look. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. So, and old I've always school been coaches insecure about don't myself necessarily mind that. in all things. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't I create a big play for the other team. Like right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams camera, are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be Taking seeking to gain that taken, advantage here on this drive. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and, and uh, 10 at the 20. Because I didn't, I didn't start like the way I myself looked. Because get about three as he's taken down the way people made me feel like they were something wrong with me. So that made me insecure about myself. I started believing what people thought of me. Yeah. But I'm slowly starting to come out of that, but yeah. Which is why I talk a lot now on my, you know, my stream. If you don't like, you know, if you don't like commentary, that's fine. Two minutes you know, watch, here but, in the first half. You know. We're back to Arrowhead after this. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get out of that insecurity. You know, I don't have to stay quiet anymore. I'm allowed to talk. Fans, a reminder. <coughs> I have a says, note card here that says ad lib halftime preview. So yeah. I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando so when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad lib. If you print it, I'm going to read it. <laughs> I'm Brandon Gaughan. Now second and seven from the 23. Here we go now. Green 90. Green 90. On second down, here's Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the Pro Bowl tight end, the intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. You know? They've been assignment sound, not, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, to and communicating well, too. Yeah. The Chiefs on third down, yeah, two for five yeah. to this point. This is third and I'm seven. Not a shame, though, so... Now here's the And this is going to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll put it away <laughs> for the yeah, second uh, time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks free. equally as good. Here's Sheriff. Someone to just listen. Nice job bringing that one back. Channel. 14 on the return. And, uh, you can and the offense Discord. will take over and for the there. new set of downs. The Vikings offense now heading out to, out to take over. They're out in front Post last it. time they had a punt away. We'll see, see if they message. can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. I might not be able to get advice, but I can at listen. People away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in yeah. the end zone. Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and ten. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. <coughs> sets up a very manageable <coughs> second down. Early, I said a very that solid going gain on that play. You know. So, well, since we're talking, I'll tell you what I mean. It might sound gross, but if you're from North Carolina or the South, now a second down throw on the country. You might have tried this, or your parents might have tried it, or you've seen somebody try it, but I'm actually eating beans 
with mayonnaise. Because that's all we eat in the South, you know. And I grew up eating it, <clears throat> and it's not too bad, you know. It really ain't. It might look kind of gross, but it's pretty good. The Vikings yeah. going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before and I know I might sound younger than I am, but uh, to you I probably sound like I'm 18, but I'm actually 31. I'm actually 31. I'm not 18, so I might sound young, but I'm not. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back even out some and ready to rock. Even still think I'm 18. Even the ones that see me all the time. <laughs> Which is funny. Like I think one of my aunts, sometimes she forgets that I'm 31. She still thinks I'm 18. <laughs> like, no, I'm not 18. I'm way past 18. <laughs> but I think it's funny, you know. I mean, that's a, that's a compliment that someone thinks I'm that young, but... After a while, it does kind of get annoying, I guess, like from strangers. When I have strangers talk to me, like I'm a kid or something, or like, you know, they're older. It just upsets me because I know that. Cousins on first down. And Rudolph has it to tight end. And he'll go but down here at the 35 yard line. Now, whistles come in. Like We're going to get a timeout like here younger. by the offense. Yeah. As the stoppage will come yes, with a little under a minute to go like in this first half. scare anybody away <clears throat> when I said that I'm last Christian. catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable I'm second Christian. and one doesn't mean that <clears throat> I'm against <clears throat> anybody if you know what I mean on play action cousins because I'm not he's got it complete to digs right side and inside the 20 before he's brought down he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk just about how great it is here. because it gives you a two-way go. But you can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Yeah. If you know, you know. But, um... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Christian <coughs> who loves you know, six people. Now, really it's are, complete you know. to digs. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11th. Yeah, before the second down play, we'll like. get a whistle, a signal, care. and yeah. a timeout. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. In my opinion, um, that's why I need to start doing chat streams. So we can just talk. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. Yeah, I believe and that. now we're set to you get going. Help. You can't help you fall in love with, you know. Some people are too ignorant and don't ever understand that, I guess. But, or simple minded, which is another word. <coughs> but yeah. Six guess, yards you know. was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. My opinion is, keep doing what makes you happy, and I let the haters hate. Cousins again. Then don't do anything else. This will be caught at about the five. And you can't force people and like you. Down this time you can't at force the five people yard accept line. you. So the Vikings first down, Diggs yeah. able to find his way free and get the I catch from Cousins. People, not my life. Final play of the half, Cousins. <laughs> it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kendall Wright as time expires in the first half. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. You knew time was going to run out, so this had to be in the end zone. And somehow they were able to find a window and get it done. 
very easy for us to talk about up here that yes all that had to happen but when time's running down sometimes your brain compresses a little bit too they show great poise understanding of situation making sure they get to the end zone in order to complete that pass and take a nice momentum into the locker room so we hit halftime with our visitors the vikings taking the lead to the locker room as we'll send you down to orlando we check in with jonathan coachman for our ea sports halftime report coach okay brandon thanks very much and welcome everyone to this abridged version of the ea sports halftime report this game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half so we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to brandon god all right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three I think the, uh, the hardest thing about being an artist, especially on Instagram or online or on social media, is that uh, it's hard to find real people that wants to buy your art, especially on Instagram, because... Butker now to kick this one away. <laughs> I came close to what I thought was a real... Stacy Coley on the return. And, uh... It and he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 uh, yard line. Scam, scamming into depositing in a fake each egg. Now come the Vikings. Now, they'll have it first on offense as we begin I'm the third. They built thinking. a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that and, uh, the offensive staff spend the entire uh, halftime just working with them on crazy. here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had guys to be prepared like right now, for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they main, handle uh, any adjustments that might be made defensively. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and ten at their own 28-yard line. Starting the third quarter with Cole. Yeah. <coughs> Not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. When it says in my... Uh, they try to click hitter inside, but that one will swallow up because what they're hoping is that the defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open and up I don't a crease sell them that they can NFTs, run through. Didn't happen but on people that still ask me to buy them as NFTs, like they don't take the time to read anything. So that's the worst thing about being an artist <clears throat> trying to sell. Well, there's nothing wrong with being an artist. There's no bad things about being an artist. Just that's the worst thing trying to sell your art through social media. You get people trying to buy your art as NFTs, like they don't want to pay real money because they don't have it. So yeah, I don't know how many. I don't, you know, I don't know how many I've gotten. People ask me to buy my art as NFTs. And just keeps it going. And then when I try to explain myself, I get mad. Because I don't, <clears throat> I'm denying what they want to do. Like, bro, like you daughters, man, you don't make that decision. The Vikings on third down, so, like, two for five to this cash point. Or this is third and eleven. Methods. Like if you can't accept that, you get, you get more. <laughs> Off the play fake, yeah. Cousins. <clears throat> Got a man, it's right. <laughs> Thought I'd shoot that. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. They're able to convert on third down to that sets that up. That was funny how that guy like well, part, I'm looked around and picked it up. But how about the way they that field position there? Um, a nice attacking play. play. That's they picked funny. up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Right, that guy on, sorry, so back on the right there. Look how he rolls to get up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh man, they slammed him hard. Would well, not really slam him, he fell hard. They didn't really do them much. Yeah, I don't think I ever played football in my life. I like football. But you can get, there's too many injuries you can get. One tackle, but then quickly so I'd rather, down, but a nice little game. I'll, I'll stick with playing, I'll stick with playing, uh, 
Madden in the field. I'm watching football on TV. Before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it. I mean, I was like, I played football growing up. Like, my stepbrother, but Dick just said that I should be a quarterback. Because I throw good. But. I wasn't very, I wasn't thrown very far. <laughs> we was just, we was using a basketball court in our neighborhood as the, the, the phone points to football, the football field, yeah. So yeah, I didn't have too far to throw. We was, uh, it was me, my stepbrother, versus my stepsisters, which is his biological sisters, because, you know, my dad, my parents ain't together, so my dad remarried, so I got about three stepsisters, no, two, I don't know why I said three, two stepsisters and a stepbrother. Latavius Murray so, taking it in from a yard. Yeah, my stepsister. Especially the other stepsister. She got mad. Said that man from his team. But we ain't team, that's how you play football. <laughs> she got upset and went to my dad. My dad tried to explain to her. But she, she wasn't taking up for an answer. You also drain clock too with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Forbath, the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So the drive there took six points. I don't see them much. Better. Doing their own thing now. Four bath out to kick this one away. My cousin's family is uh, watching the Mario movie in theaters. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They're down in this game, it's a chance for the offense to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things Not kick started the for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to That's get that done. Saw this is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most half? Of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10. At their own 25 yard line. And it's around the third quarter. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop. But they only got it for like 10 minutes. The tackle goes to Harrison Smith. I think the real, I think, I don't know, I don't know, I looked it up, I looked up how many quarters or how much was it, how long does it, how long does each quarter last, I think it said each one is 15 minutes, but on TV it don't seem that long, so that's weird. They stay on the ground again, it's but, Hunt. Like on the beat again, it's a little longer than it would in real life, so that's kind of weird. Probably like because better they play better in real life, I guess. Well, not, well, well, I don't know, I mean, if you think of, really, in the football games, that's the real people playing, you know, the real team. The by Hunt. Here's first and ten. That's how they play good on the game, too, because it's really them. But imagine how, you know, them being professional They'll football players, imagine how much they got paid to be in the game. The <laughs> just to uh, reenact what they do on the field. Probably got paid a lot for that. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. That just shows how big man their bill is, the game, because for every team to be on there. And they get, they get paid a lot. They Just go playing play real football too. Oh. But. <laughs> and he's gonna drop this off to Williams complete. Yeah. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. 
No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the <clears> football. <throat> things like change over the years. Lanes, and they back then. The like especially with baseball. Back then. They just played it for fun. Now it's a career. And you can actually make money from it. But that's cool, you know. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with making money doing what you like, you know. That's, you know. This I don't think I play baseball either. Need of a as they come up on I've been here with baseball in school, and uh, you don't feel too good. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And able to find Conley. My nice I mean, I like football. City, you know, up the first sport, 18 yards that time. I'm into, I, I like skateboarding, I'm into skateboarding, you one of those, like, <coughs> I'm into snowboarding, like you have for high jumpers, and you know, you had your throw the ball, and you tried to make the spectacular catches, extreme mountain biking, even though I never, I would never do extreme so mountain biking, that explains your toughness, that explains your toughness right there, because I think that guy was raised just like you, what a catch, because that's just, Super dangerous, and uh, so the ball moves from their own 41 to like the people other who do extreme mountain biking ain't, ain't afraid to die. That's what that is. They just they're, they're not afraid <laughs> to die because you can do an extreme mountain biking, which you can in football too. Like that one player, you know, thankfully he's okay, but he could have because really I think he was the player. I can't, I still can't remember his name, but he played on the, he's on the books with the field, I think. And it actually happened on live TV, like during the actual game. Like he got tackled real hard in the chest, and uh, it caused his heart to stop. But thankfully he's okay, so... Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Yeah. See, you can get hurt no matter what. <clears throat> no matter what sports you no, no matter what you're doing, you can get hurt. They'll run it here with Hunt. For a while, yeah, they get to it happen. quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Ben I've been hurt real stop. bad in my life. Well, didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just like, started uh, in once he saw the run develop. I've mainly that gotten broken fingers. Now, that's my main ball. injuries, but the, my biggest injury was uh, when I was a kid. I think it might have been eight, but uh, my mom, my mom, she used to work for <clears throat> the, our community college, uh, doing landscaping, and uh, so my mom had people watch me all the time when I was little, and uh, my mom, one night, my mom, one day, my mom had to work late at the college, so uh, she had the people that was babysitting me. Bring me to the college. And about a and, uh, he had the person that was watching me, her husband, he had this like a, a big truck, but it was just two doors, down. you know, the front seat. The second half, and his offense has not scored a lot <coughs> of points, and that was another example of why. I think it's time to open things up and I start mean, really trying to move the ball. She didn't really care about my safety because that was a kid, you know, kids are supposed to be buckled up. You know, they're supposed to be in a seat, buckled. <laughs> The Chiefs oh, that would be called three for seven so far in this sure game. Called, this is third and eleven. I guess in a way, because you're in danger, child, by not looking to up, you know. That his pass is intercepted but, for the but, fourth time today. So the first time he's dropping. Her son might have been in the seat, and she was in the passenger seat. <coughs> so there was really no room for me to see it. In the seat. So, me being the youngest, under 10 years old, I think, she made me sit in the floor between the legs. Because that ball. was safe. You maybe know. somebody ran a wrong pattern, maybe some balls were tipped, it could be so many but, different and, uh, things. And I was completely line, uncomfortable, though, comes back and to the uh, guy throwing them. she had the door open, and I, you know, like, where the, the top, the top, the part where the door closes, like, I had my hand on the truck trying to adjust myself to get comfortable, <laughs> and, uh, next thing you know, she slammed 
I don't see it. She must have not been paying attention. Or she just didn't see my arm there. I don't see how she didn't know. Because she was right there. <coughs> and next thing you know, uh, she slammed the door on my finger. That's my, uh, my right hand ring finger. She just slammed it into the door and, uh, it actually they run it again with Cook. Cut the tip and of my finger off. Up here as get across the 10 to the 11 yard line. Like my finger <coughs> it doesn't now it's third down. have so a, a nail bed. So my fingernail doesn't grow straight. It grows down. Hey, they just won the battle there. Wasn't a big run given up. Yeah, they don't always have to the tip of my off. Look at Cut diagonal. Like straight across the tip of my finger. And uh, Cousins from the gun on she, uh, uh, she didn't even care enough to go D4. get me like a paper towel or something to you know hold my finger. I was holding my own finger like barehanded, so I was bleeding in my own hand. <laughs> she didn't care enough to go get something to stop the bleeding. She didn't care, so. Uh, and my dad was super mad when she found out, when he found out that that happened. That was the last time that lady watched me. And, uh, and I've known her my whole life, too. Well, that's the thing. You know, someone I've known my whole life, like, grew up around. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Fielded it about the 20 minutes. Yeah. So that was the, that's the biggest injury I've encountered. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. To this day, it's still just my problems because uh, I was actually awake in the hospital when they were doing like surgery. They had to do like a ski wrap, I think. The doctor told me that they could either they could either cover, do a ski wrap on my finger, or Keep my finger now because they said if uh, to begin the drive, here's a handoff to they did the skin grab, my finger now went way back. So I decided to keep my finger now because I, I was already scared already, but it would have scared me even more not, not seeing the finger now there. So, so yeah, to this day I have my finger now, but... But since they didn't do the skin graph, my nerve, like literally, <laughs> my nerve is sticking out of my finger under the nail. And uh, so like, this finger is so real sensitive, so if I hit the nail on something, it hurt real bad because the nerve is right there. <laughs> Found the hole in the zone. Make yeah. sure the quarterback saw it. I was so able to make the painful, catch you know. and put the down marker back to one. I was, you know, for a while I was <coughs> too nervous. Like, I had to keep my nails clipped. Like, I'm, my nails had to be clipped. They can't be long. <laughs> it's just uncomfortable. But for a while, <coughs> I was too afraid to clip that nail because I was afraid I'd clip the nerve. Which it's I had before, and it hurt. <laughs> it hurt. But I'm able to clip it now without it hurting. Right you know, which I actually the nerve. Somehow the nerve <clears throat> will occasionally dry off and then grow back. So yeah, that's interesting. But yeah, that's you know the biggest injury I've ever had. So. Yeah. But I'm okay now, you know. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. But also, last game, uh, another injury that could have happened that could have been worse than this is, was, uh, I was, uh, my mom, I guess, my mom came back from the store, I guess. And she had a, a trunk open. And she was getting stuff out of the trunk, and, uh, like, 
like in the trunk where that rubber piece is that goes around the trunk. And both, maybe both hands or one hand only, like in the trunk, and my hands on it. And she didn't know that. <laughs> so she accidentally shot my hands in the trunk. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confident both your guy's going to have remember. they need to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they can But if it wasn't for that rubber down. piece in the trunk, my, it was actually my left ring finger. Still in search of the first touchdown of the game, but they're the on the move. Damage. First and ten. But if it wasn't for that rubber piece in the trunk, I probably would have got my finger cut off. Mahomes now on first down. Metal, this know. is complete to Rockets on the slam. Here, and the fingers are going to show me this here. And they're going to more fragile. They get 10 more there, and but I all believe it was, that'll be enough for another broke. first down at will. <clears throat> I get feel that was broke. He hurt too bad. So all I did was cut my finger and dent it. Like, man, it dented my finger. So it came close to breaking it or cutting it off. Yeah, so that could have been another bad injury. But thankfully all I got was, like, just... For this third yeah, quarter of action, really we'll bad. return with yes. more after yeah. this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Yeah. We're back now in KC. Uh, so, so far, I haven't really, so far, thankfully, I haven't gotten any more injuries like that. We start quarter number four. Hopefully I don't, uh, you know, I try to be careful, but, I mean, I've had some close calls before, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm, okay. Mahomes now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half, not bad, first and ten. I hope y'all can hear the game over me talking. Watch out, y'all can hear me. Because the game can be loud. Me, oh, so nice yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Since we were talking about injuries and stuff. Anthony Barr in on the tackle. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. <coughs> Hunt gets it on the draw from Mahomes. And he'll get this one down to about the 10 yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to well, lead yeah, him to third uh, down. It just came to mind because I just remembered it. I didn't just remember it. I just thought of it just now to mention on the, the stream. Chiefs on third down. Not well, quite 50%. I was, 50%, four for I was nine. checking my phone. This is third and seven. And, uh, I just recently posted uh, a previous football stream to my YouTube channel. Not, not any recent ones, but ones that I have on my computer that I need to upload. They must the Carolina Panthers, I think. But I had some somebody comment on, comment on the video laughing at it, laughing at me because I had zero views on the video. Or zero locks, not zero views. But I was laughing because I had zero locks now on my Harrison video. Butker for the field goal and, uh, try. Jokes on them because they had zero too. Because I went to their profile and uh, they don't and even the play them. Bro, like, on you know, the what they have on the channel. Well, and they're, field, they call themselves they a sports expert. They did indeed do right. that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Mm -hmm. Still got to take two four quarter yeah, touchdowns to get back into it. And as you they and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. And they're going to need their videos. own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. But instead they thought, you know, let's go bother someone I don't even know. And make fun of them for having zero likes on their videos. But... Apparently he hasn't seen my other videos because some of my videos have reached 1.9k I think. After Maybe the field two. goal, here's Butker but to kick it I away. Check, I don't check. I don't check much, you know. Occasionally, <coughs> if I'm on the easy, I don't see it. But. For a touchback. 
Yeah. But I wasn't gonna be too mean. I, I mean, I did reply to his comment, but I didn't really comment altogether. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least I'm a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs how you are. and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and yeah, ten just, at their 25-yard so line. I didn't want to say nothing back at him because he's a kid. I didn't want to hurt his feelings. First down. Here's Cousins. I'm not going to Open here, Adam Thielen. And they get him down, but not before he takes uh, it across the 40 yard nah, line. I'm, I'm a strong person. I'm going to buy this. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to hold on though. right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background but says, why do you am, need to do this? You know, just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many I people pointed out to me, it's like, a video you know, game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I was still trying has to get past the <laughs> 40 you know, already and another first and 10. You know. I'm having that before. I used to. I used to recalling. I used to recalling. Another toe for the workhorse this afternoon. It's like cool. Like like and give him about five as he gets this up Which to the 40-yard line. Because I'm just there. After the play, play not not a good sign. Dalvin Cook staying on the ground. So fast. We'll step aside like as and as get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Someone said something that upset me. I would like go to war with them <laughs> and I I wouldn't even give them a chance to say anything I just keep saying stuff until they just stop talking got tired of me <laughs> so yeah but I don't do that anymore you know if you say something to me you know I just I try not to say anything but most time I just block the person or you know, bent, yeah block them but, yeah so my channel is negative free so yeah so if you try to bring if you try to bring neg negative negativity to my channel you'll get blocked you'll get banned <coughs> and if you go too far you might even get a point I don't know and he is met at the line of scrimmage, so. and he goes down right there. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. On my screen, on my channel. There defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it in, in the Don't difference be. between that and, and a pass control. blitz. Pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up yeah, gaps. I'm a nice person, but when it comes so to the football. Statement, you know, open man is feeling like it's complete. A I can get on a roll. Like I can, Cousins you know, fighting, feeling. When you're a player of his stature, myself. you don't just circle the games on your team's calendar. You circle, circle the Pro Bowl? <laughs> without a doubt. That's <laughs> yeah. a game that you just figure you're going to be in each and every year. It's because of catches like that. That's why he goes. I'll probably have a stream Cousins once now, this game gets done. 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. That's 927. <laughs> my, now we'll my mom is at work right now. She gets up at 9. So I always got to make sure uh, the door is unlocked. I just got a message. So I'm going to wait on this. I'm going to be back. I'm going to lock the door for my mother. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because... Every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Second down, Cousins. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. The Vikings on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Here's Cousins. And he's got Kyle Rudolph. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Cousins now five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Brandon, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. The Vikings on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 10. Play fake. Cousins. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by David Anderson. And the return goes up to his own 17-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you think maybe you're just sitting on it trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. And now here comes Kansas City. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. All start. Offense. That's going to set him back five yards. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Decent start there to the drive. Big hill to climb, needing two touchdowns, also a two two-point conversion. So, partner, how do you eat an elephant? I don't eat an elephant. <laughs> Who eats elephant? <laughs> well, if you do, you do it one bite at a time. Okay. That's the way they've got to play this. One okay. play at a time. Yes, there's urgency, but they have to be careful as well. well let's go with like now. a 50 Three, ounce ribeye. One, one Three, bite nine. at a time. All right, I'm with you. Now Mahomes. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Freddy, green, 39. On first.
first down, Mahomes runs through the contact. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. They certainly thought they had him surrounded and probably thought they were going to get him on the ground and get the sack, but he's able to elude that. And even though it threw it incomplete downfield, if you're a defensive back, you're loving the pressure that you're seeing from your front. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. They run with Hunt. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. First now down. your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. First and ten, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Hey, here we go. Green, 90. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Give him six on the play, and it's a second down. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Ready! Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Thomas, the intended target, and it's third and four. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that Three. incompletion on Three. second Three. down. Three. They'll run it now out of the gun. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on offense. fourth down. Now, fourth and short, had your offense out there, that one stings. And you know something? Your options change dramatically. Not only is it tougher to go for it, but what if you decided just to line up and try and draw them off sides? If you did it on fourth and short, you could pick up the cheap first down. Now, you still won't get a first down, even if you do exactly the same thing. Now Mahomes got to have this one. And it is incomplete. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score game still. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 42. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run here. It's Murray. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Tenth carry of the game now, Murray. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. That was second down run for Murray. And an alley to run. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn the one there after giving up the first down. the stream before it goes back to the main menu. So, right one, right after so a defensive timeout, chance highlights. to regather, regroup, and get set as we I'm resume action. So, I got back just in time. <coughs> but I hope you really enjoyed watching, and I hope you, I guess, thank you, thanks for sticking around and coming to talk. So, yeah. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. On first uh, down, Murray. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28 yard line. It was Reggie Bryant who got him down. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. I'll pick some. It looks like the back is one. Handoff. It's and he'll take this down just shy of the 25 yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. I guess the simple question why not just take a knee there? 
I don't understand either I'm why you would take any sort of a chance. Thing. We've seen I'm it happen in the game playing. of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the yeah. NFL. Huh. Some like people get a little greedy, it. try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Cousins is going to take this one down to a knee and end it. I actually got tired of winning all the time, so I wanted to make it more interesting than just a date. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. This to make it a three-score game late. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. Yeah, I guess that's in the game, it is. Um, what up? Let me stream right here. Uh, after it shows the highlights. Oh.